okay um to insert a cantilever here once you already have we have beams here we have the columns all you need to do now is to just insert some of this grid you can see just pick on grid hold on control just drop it here yes Another overlapping axis exists. Okay, let's let's just try to do something and see if that will. But make sure this axis intersects with this axis here so i'll stretch it i'll right click click on stretch stretch to this side right click stretch this one to this side then here okay i already have an axis here nice there's also an axis here uh, i'll come to my slab Pulley line to trace this. Okay, so as simple as that, all you need to do now is just to specify what type of slab is this from your slab type. Okay, there is also an automatic way of uh, insert slab automatically, uh, set slab type automatically. So if you use the set slab type automatically, it will just uh, specify what type of slab is this for you so it's as simple as that um, this is just all you need to do to insert your slab but if you want to break these slabs it's very simple too all you need to do is just to stop them at whatever point probably maybe you have a beam here you have another beam here or you have another beam here uh, so if there is a beam here there's a beam here you can stop a panel here have another panel here have another panel here probably have another panel here so it depends on what you want to achieve but if you want to achieve it as a panel all round like this the whole of this should be a panel all you need to do is just to use this your polyline to trace the entire area of that particular uh, panel of the particular area the particular area the entire area of where you want to insert that panel so once you use the poly line you click on insert slab and that is all
that is just all you need to do um, if you have any challenge just let me know so that I can understand uh, clearly what your challenge is 